Hello everyone, so my name is Hiroki Hiwai and I'm a PM3 student. I want to talk about life cycle assessment of the chocolate. So this present is for the computer literacy final presentation. So I want to talk about first, I want to talk about introduction. So first, the Japan depends on importing food from other country. So you know in supermarket you see the beef and pork and also vegetable and fish and also you are you can see the um, vegetable and also wheat and corn are imported from other countries but this is not only uh, imported food but also the huge amounts of water are imported so for agriculture production for like the rice or feed the water is need and also like beef and pork and growing uh, growing up the cow or like pig the, they need the water so the japan imported the too much water from the other countries so next uh, i learned from fair trade and supply chain management in apu so I am a member of the one zone fair trade is the fair trade uh, circle and I learned the escal and also fair trade. The fair trade's production is popular one is the chocolate. So I want uh, I focus the chocolate in this reason. And also I learned supply chain management. So I'm a, I'm APM student. So I learned so supply chain management and also life cycle assessment is also concerned with the supply chain management so yeah i want to learn more about the fair trade and also supply chain so i want to choice this about topic so first the cacao's uh, resources is cacao i don't know no, the chocolate the resources is cacao the ca do you know the cacao has three species the first is the Creole species. This is called the flavor beans, the quality, the flavor beans, the Creole and called the flavor beans. It is very quality, uh, quality and the flavor is good, but however, the weakness, the negative point is weakness, the disease and insects. The next is the forestal, forestal species. This is the strong weakness and this is this is, is, is a bit, the very positive point. But the negative point is the taste is strong bitter. The last one is the trinita, trinitarium species. It's mixed, it is mixed, the Creole and Forastero species. The flavor is good and strong disease is, this is uh, it's this species characteristic. This graph is the nation about the imported country, the top the top five countries. The first is Ghana, and the next one is Ivory Coast. The third one is Venezuela. The fourth is Ecuador. The third, the fifth one is the Dominican Republic. The Ghana is a famous country to export to the export cacao to Japan. The in two thousand seventeen, the uh, 40,412 uh, 40, uh, 40, tons of cacao are exported to Japan. This graph is the amount of imported cacao for the sum. The, the 2017 to 2000, uh, 2012 to 2017, the amount of imported cacao is increased. So um, to the uh, 2018, 2019, and also 2007, uh, 2012, uh, 20, the uh, amount of imported cacao is increased. So next, I want to talk about the process of the chocolate. So first, so if you want to make a chocolate, we need uh, resources. So the first one is imported cacao. The next is selection of cacao. The third one is roasting. The fourth one is removing the peel. 
The fifth one is mixing cacao, cacao mass and cocoa butter, sugar, and dairy pro products, like milk uh, or cream. The next one is rolling chocolate to become smoothie. Next, uh, stirring the chocolate to become homo homogenization. The next one is tempering the chocolate to change smoothly and glossy. The uh, next is pouring the chocolate to the mold and freezing. The last is removing the mold and checking and packaging. So this graph is the amount of grinding uh, to the transition. So the grinding means demand. So the, the, the highest the demand is the 2007, 2006 is highest, and but the 2007, 2007 the uh, demand is go down. But uh, 2009 to 2017, the demand is increased, uh, increase, increased a uh, little. So the 2000, uh, to the today, the demand is more higher than the 2017s. So the last part, is also, I want to talk about life cycle assessment. So the chocolate um, needs many waters. So according to, uh, look at this picture. The one kilogram chocolate needs the one 70,000 liters of water. This is the small, uh, this, this water is, this uh, amount of water is same as the small pool. So uh, in 2017, the 280 and 25 tons of chocolate are produced and imported. So the calculated that this amount of water, this amount of water you need uh, and used for the producing and importing uh, the chocolate. This means that this amount of water come to the Japan to from other countries. So in conclusion, Japan imports not only food but also uh, the huge amount of water. So Japan people, Japanese people have to notice about this global problem. Thank you for listening.